the vast land of Shizong is sparsely populated, with human settlements scattered throughout the region. Nestled within a canyon lies the town of Loiza, home to the only middle school in the area. Despite its humble size, the educational hub accommodates students from far and wide. The distance is only three and a half hours. In the summer, the road is cut. In the winter, the road is cut. In such a situation, how can children go to school? Due to Xizang's sparse and widely dispersed population, this makes boarding schools relatively common. By embracing the approach, both rural and urban students share the same high-quality educational resources. For the children themselves, the enthusiasm for school often arises from more simple reasons. Farmers and herders make up nearly 70% of Shizang's population. Due to their limited educational opportunities, They've long relied on cattle breeding to sustain a livelihood. Like Duoden's mother, these herders clearly understand the power of education and its potential to bring about positive change. When we were in school, the conditions were quite poor. Now the conditions are also quite good. So I hope the children, the teachers, the soldiers, the soldiers are the same. The decision of whether a student board at school is entirely on the choices made by the students and their parents. Buses drop off to Adan at school and bring him back home once a month. Parents can visit their children at any time. Students receive free tuition, transportation and meals. Despite the welfare and his mother's high hope, unlike the rest of his schoolmates, Duodan seems resistant to the idea of studying. In addition to local teachers, talented educators from across the country have been recruited. Guan Tian from central China's Hubei province has taught in the school for 20 years. During her long teaching career at Loiza Middle School, Duodan has made a strong impression on her, though not in a positive way. I've met so many times, I've met so many children, I've met so many children, and the teachers and teachers all came to find her. After we found her, we came to the school and the school leader, and we also had a lot of work in her head. While Duodan has returned to his studies, his mischievous nature remains the same. And they constantly pound his life beyond the campus. The boy seems hasn't figured out the answer. Three years have flown by, and with the high school entrance exam approaching, Guan Tian is grasping every opportunity to give him a push. I said, Duodan, in my mind, is a very important child to me. I will ask him later. I will ask him where he is studying, how he is going to college. Do you understand? I have a very hope for you. What about you? If you grow up, it's better. But I hope that you can be better than in Luo Zhaxian. During the high school entrance exam mobilization meeting, a group photo is handed to Duodan, and he realizes now that he's about to leave the campus. The boy has made up his mind to put in his best efforts during the last few days here. He's a very good guy, but he's a very good guy. Later, he's a very good guy. 
大叔。毕业快乐，人在高飞。毕业快乐。Surrounded by well wishes, Dodan starts to be filled with thoughts and aspirations for the future. 希望成为一名军人，保家卫国，在边疆地区守护边疆。教育是一个灵魂推动另一个灵魂的事业。有时候我们看到这些会非常的惊讶。因为他在走出这个校园的时候，可能没有我们想象的改变的那么的好，但是他后面通过其他的努力，他会越来越好，以后一定要好起来哦。拜拜，拜拜，马德基。Students are often told in the school that the campus is their second home, but it's taken a while for Dodan to understand the true meaning of this message. Bye. 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 然后离开的时候，我们也会哽咽，但是每年迎来新的学生，我们仍然会充满希望。Bidding goodbye to graduates and embracing new students, Guan Tian says it's the most beautiful season of the year when arrivals and departures all the new intertwines, mixing a fine farewell with a fresh beginning. Later, as the energetic bus of new students fills Lhasa Middle School, Zhuodan receives his exam results. Admitted to a high school in Shandong Prefecture, a new beginning in his journey unfolds. Huang Yichang, CGTN, Lhasa County, Shandong Prefecture, in Xizang Autonomous Region.